Now in this video, we are actually going to code, we're going to begin to code our HTTP request inside our blocks in Thunkable. So what we, let's see, let's go back to our interface. Let's look at how this looks, okay? So the goal is we're going to have the user enter in their data and hit add. And when we hit the add button, we want to send that information up to the cloud to Google Sheets. So when I go to buy blocks, the first thing I need to do, um, this was for testing. We're going to pull that out because we know that works, so I don't need it now. But what we're going to do on the button click, we're going to send our HTTP request. Now, I'm going to come back into, there's a few things I need to add as I begin. I need to add a component. All right, so I've scrolled all the way down. I'm on my, my left-hand side, and I've come down to this section called data. And I realized, uh, as I was looking at my blocks, uh, that I haven't added my web API. Now, web API, uh, I'm going to come. I'm going to add this here. Let's see. Did it add it? Oh, drag my invisible components here. Okay, so I'm going to drag my invisible component right here. So I have a web API. And now when I go back into my blocks, I see that Web API is one of my options. Now remember, um, for every object in my screen, every object I've laid out in my UI or my invisible elements, um, it creates the top blocks for that piece. So here I am, and what I need to do is I need to set my Web API's URL, okay? And I would think that this drops down. Yeah, okay. So I pulled this web APIs. I'm going to change this to URL. And here you see, this is many of the things that we talked about. We talked about the URL, the body, the headers, um, and, and, and query parameters. We'll get to that later. So I'm going to change URL. So I'm going to set my web APIs URL. And then we were going to make that I'm going to copy it over here off screen. Um, I have that. I'm going to take it and put it over here. Now, it's a little bit deceiving. I have this pink block, um, and you would think I would be able to enter it here. And in fact, I can enter it there, but it's not going to work because that's not actually, um, it's not actually a string. I need to bring one of these darker pink pieces in. Uh, it's a string. Put it in there. Okay, so here it is. Now, this is the Sheets API. Uh, this is the Sheets DB. This is what I got off the page that asked me, uh, that told me how to create a post request at a row. This here is my own API key. So you want to have whatever's after that last forward slash to be your API key. Okay, that's how it finds its way. So that was that first part we talked about. The next part we needed was the headers, right? So we're going to go back to our API and we want, we want to, oh, we're going to put this in here. We're going to change our web API. We're going to drop this down to headers. And we want that to be an object, right? Now JSON's an object. So I'm going to go to objects here and I'm going to create an object. Okay. So I'm going to create an object. So I come in here and I need, I need to pull this, is it here? Okay, excellent. Um, so I pulled undefined. It actually helps to type it right there. Now we are going to do content uh, dash type. Okay, so we got that. So content type, I close this by touching my little gearbox. So now I have this object. It says create an object with fields content type. Now I want that content type, if you remember, to be application JSON. So that I'm going to pull over as a string. Remember, it has to be a hot pink block, not a light pink block. Okay, and I'm going to write application forward slash JSON. Okay, so that was the first part, right? Uh, I had to do my URL and the header, but that doesn't actually send the body. The body of my data 
um, is, is another block we're going to add. So I'm going to go back to my web API. I'm going to, it's this same set API. I'm going to set the body. Okay. Now, if you remember, this is where I need to join my data, where I'm going to have my low and my high and all that. It's, okay, so we're going to use this join block. Remember, hot pink, not light pink. My join block is going to join, and, and we got this specifically from the, uh, the API. It's not like I remember this off the top of my head or even know this, okay? But I got this from my API. And so it is, uh, it's a little hard to see. Let's see. Okay, so it's curly bracket, quotes, data, end quotes. And then we're going to have, after the end quotes, we're going to have a colon and a square, square bracket, square bracket is, there we go. So let's, there we go. So this is what is in there, right? And this we got from the API. So we're, we're sending the data and, and this is what we put into that first piece. The next piece, it's actually not gonna be this. The next piece is another object. We are going to generate a JSON from an object. Okay, we're going to generate a JSON from the object. And the next block is going to create that object. So we're going to come in here and we're going to create our object. Okay, now we need to, we're going to create a field, right? And these are the fields that came from my spreadsheet, right? So low, oh. It helps to type up here for some reason. Low, I'm gonna add another one. I'm gonna have this to be high. Another one. This is going to be, I wonder if I have this backwards, I think. Notes and time date stamp. Okay, oop, notes and date stamp, date stamp. Okay, so I, I, I had a harder time typing them down here, although you can, I often get, but it was really easy to type them up here. And remember, anytime I wanna get rid of my gearbox, I just hit, uh, hit that, okay. So now I have this, I have the data part of my long URL um, and I'm sending it as an object. So I have these pieces. Now let's remember that these were gonna be dynamically created, right? So whatever is in low came from my text input for low. Now I labeled these one, two, three. Let's go back into design. That, that wasn't very helpful, right? So we're gonna call this, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna rename these because one, two, three doesn't help me. We're gonna say text low. Okay. Text high. Text notes. There we go. Okay, so those those make more sense to me as I come and look at my blocks. So now that I see this, this is what's going to go into my low column in my spreadsheet. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to look for my text low. Now remember, I want this to say uh, that my text lows text, right? It's pretty simple. There's nothing more to it, right? So whatever that text was is going to be sent off to this column in my spreadsheet. I'm going to go to high, uh, text highs text, go there, my notes, text notes text is going to go here, and then didn't quite click in. And then if we remember, we're gonna get that variable just straight from the variable section. Okay. And then there was one more piece we needed. Remember we had that long gobbledygook. It started with data. It included our, our info that we were going. 
but there was one more block on here, right? And again, I didn't memorize this uh, and I'm looking at it written down because I got it straight from the API. So I'm gonna close this. I need it to be a, t a string, so I'm gonna pull bright hot pink. It will let you type strings in the light pink, but it will not work. Okay, so we're gonna come in here. And then this is where I add um, encode when you open uh, when you open a curly bracket, you have to close a curly bracket. When you open a square bracket, you have to close a square bracket. So if you look up here, we have an open curly and an open square. So what I'm going to do, do it in that reverse order, I am going to have my closed uh, square bracket. I'm going to close my curly bracket, and that should work. <laughs> 